Hi, Andy here. I get comments in my videos all the time asking about how to air gap or how to do technical things with Rancher, Longhorn, New Vector, all of the Kubernetes things. The recent one was about air gapping and wanted to highlight a new tool from Rancher government called Hauler. Uh, I'll definitely put the link on how to get to it in, in the show notes. But Hauler really is a tool that we call it the air gapping Swiss Army knife, but it's about being able to programmatically get files, charts, images, things like that to move across the air gap and then serve them back out in a clean, succinct, repeatable way. Okay, let's go take a look at the docs real quick. We can take a look at the quick start. It's should be pretty clear how, how useful this is. Uh, curl pipe bash, uh, if you go to the GitHub page, there are binaries for uh, Linux or even uh, we have a brew tap if you're interested. Uh, go to installation, right? We've got Linux, Darwin, and Windows. So pretty easy to install. <clears throat> Going through the quick start, <clears throat> you can see about, you can use the command line hauler store add to add images, to add charts or add files very easily. Although there's a really interesting way it, in that is in using the manifest option. Here's an example of a manifest. Now it's using a public key for our carbide, uh, Rancher Government Carbide, which is our SBOM fully attested cryptographically signed images or charts or files. And then you can actually do view store info and then do a hauler store save. Okay. And that gives you the artifact, the ZST file to air gap. Now what I've done, and again, I'm going to put this in the show notes. I've gone and created a script that'll go and pull down the latest versions, hitting the GitHub APIs, to figure out what is the latest version. This is just a way to kind of bootstrap a network as quickly as possible. And obviously I've already gone and installed it because it does take a minute or two. So I've got the script installed here. And what I did is I just, I ran the script. Okay, it says make hauler. And it's checking to make sure I've got Helm installed because it actually uses Helm to get some image uh, tags from a few of the products. Make sure hauler's installed and make sure JQ's installed and then it actually creates the manifest, okay? Uh, create the manifest called air gap and we can take a look at that vi air gap hauler and again same type of format where here are all the images for longhorn rancher new vector here are the charts we're pulling in we're pulling all the latest version of the charts and like the install file and the uh air gapped rpm uh, the sd linux rpms and for the tarball for the air gapped there's the tarball for the air gapped rke2 install okay quit out of this and we can see here that i then ran a hauler store sync and this will actually take that manifest and actually start downloading all the stuff to a store directory now what's interesting here this is a new feature that just came out is i can designate which platform i'm targeting ARM, S390X, AMD64, or the likes. This really kind of helps uh, cut the wheat from the chaff. In other words, don't pull down everything you don't need. It does take about two or three minutes to pull down all these images. Once it's done, I did a hauler store save, and this outputted as the haul.tar.zst. We can do du minus sh, and we can see that it is, it should be about 6.5. I actually ran this twice, so that's why it says eight. But it should be about 6.5, 6.6 gigs, and you can see the stores there. And what we then can do, once that's been pulled down, is we can actually convert it and either do a high, hauler store file server, or a serve file server, or registry. And that was the registry one I ran, so we can go ahead and run that, and it should be pretty quick. Right, and there we go. Now I've got a registry running on that host. Okay, so hopefully you can start to see how this is used to seed a POC install, an air gapped install, and potentially, uh, I forgot to do the show you the copy command. You can actually use hauler store copy to copy the contents that you've now pulled in and push it to a registry. Um, really good way to, to air gap all the stuff, really easy tool to use, and allows you, like I said, to seed a, boot, a bootstrap or seed a POC install or continuously feed into a high side registry, an air gapped registry for uh, playing with Rancher RKE2 Longhorn. And by the way, that manifest, you can pull down anything. You can pull in any image, any files, any charts. It does not have to be specific to uh, Rancher or Rancher government. Hopefully this helps. Uh, uh, hopefully, again, you'll like, subscribe, share, comment. Uh, if you have any other uh, video ideas, please feel free to reach out because I absolutely love 
uh, some of these ideas that we've gotten and have turned them into little videos. Hope you like it. Have a good day.